Hey, hey, hey. We're about to go over the last part of really the part you do with your actions, your head and your eyes, or your action, your head and your brain. And this part right here will be going over the uh, lingo, which a lot of people would prefer to call your tongue. And we'll go over the basis of what we did with the stuff of your head. We went over the ear, which is the sound. We went over the eye. Went over the nose, which is the smell. Went over the teeth. Sound for the audience. I cool for the image, speculation, the vid, vid. Spare for the odor. Spire out of control. And that's weird to showing nobody, but I have a girl looking across from me watching on her phone. And I have my other phone on. And it says nobody is watching. So, let's go to this part, which is the last part of things or entities you do with your body or your head. Now, this will be going with your lingo. And lingo is your spirit, which is your tongue. You see the picture for spirit. When you laugh, you riddle. You claim. You're valiant. You're loco. When you narrate something, a noun is a word. And I didn't put volume there. And your loco is supposed to be right here. I did them wrong. But now we're going to go over them with the drawings. And whoever is watching, thank you for the like. Thank you for the like. But I know for a fact three people were watching because my phone is on this girl's phone is on and my computer is on and then you popped on so that should be four people we're weird shit going on around here and i will show you proof of my computer on i'm not going to show you the lovely lady because she don't want you to but let's keep going now we said we're dealing with the mouth so the tongue so you're dealing with the tongue you know a short short student in the head oh that's a sloppy head oh that was sloppy Woo. we're dealing with the tongue or you can go deal with the tongue You know, a little mark thing. And when you do with the tongue, whoa, what is going on with me tonight? What is going on? You're dealing with uh, your lingo, like language, which deals with your tongue. I have to do this a little more proper. You know, this is just a rough draft. That was just too sloppy. Too sloppy, 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 sloppy. All right, you're dealing with the brain. I meant to deal with the, the tongue. Lingo. Okay, when you deal with the lingo, you deal with the tongue. What would be the first word? I'm gonna go with the second word as you laugh. I say put a ha ha. 
That's the best way I can put life. Unless you make a real big picture. Now, next word would be breath. This is your um, laugh, and that's a red, like a riddle. Your riddle makes you laugh. Next, we're dealing with the um, breath. You breathe out your nose. You breathe out your mouth. So breath, most likely put a side picture. Show student how to make a couple pictures. So breathing out your mouth. That's breath. But the word is spirit, inspire. Like your spirit, inspire out of control, spiritual. Huh, it's your breath, your words. Next word, now let me see if I can keep going. You laugh, you talk. The volume, we're not gonna go there real quick. You claim. You claim, with a C-L-A-M. And that's another thing. It's not really talking. Somebody asks your name, Andre, or over there. It's a claim. It's a. It's really a law. So most likely, put a check mark in between there, like a claim. That's really starting your oral contract. So it's what you claim. Sloppiness on me right now. What is the next word? Okay. It's your language. I gotta do that over still. I don't like being that sloppy. When you check me something that's saying yes is correct. So this is the little narrator's box. So when I checked, that's like certain. You clarify. Like, is your name Michael? Whoa, 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 my name such and such. Check mark. You know, you made your claim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then the next is, um, I'm an American, I'm an American. You know, you make your claim. That's, um, I pledge allegiance to the flag. That's like your oral contract. Watch what you claim. But the next word, um, I just said it. I got to start getting these down pat. And when they come to the student or they come to you, they're going to come in word order and numeral order. So, you know, there's only like six to ten words in each class. So after you claim something, um, your language, your language is your. Look who. Or look who. Same word. But it's probably really your, your look who. They both spell with the K. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't even show you the K. But Q and C really is the K. And the Laku is your language, so. It's your speak. So you would show a face. You can show a face like this. Or you can show the face, show the student getting ready to start drawing faces. That's a nice little face. <laughs> and you can just do the same sign, sign, just empty, put stuff in it. Little sign so a person understands it's just your speak. This is a language, your lagoon. You look cool. Now the next word will be the narrator. So how would you be the narrator? Let me make sure we see the screen. Let me make sure they've seen all that. Okay. The narrator, the narrator. So it's really the speaker. 
You know, that's really the announcer, the speaker, the storyteller, the narrator. So I'm just gonna put speaker. I can't put speaker because anybody that talk is a speaker. Let me make sure I say this right. Yeah, if you talk, you speak, and so that ain't the right word. It's really like the, the announcer, okay, announcer, uh, speaker as a connotative meaning, like a speaker of the house. Um, the narrator, storyteller. But most likely you'll have a face talking to other faces. You just draw other faces. This person talking. Let me make sure that look good. Let me make sure that look halfway decent. Okay, yeah, like a narrator. But the word is nar, N A R. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And then you. What's another word you do with your. You narrate a story. I think it's you speak. Yes, yeah, a word, a noun, whatever you make the word is a noun. So that's really what hi, by, you, it, any word is a noun. Because a noun is a name. It's the nomen. Let me make sure I say that right. Let me go look at my dictionary. And y'all see, when we do something wrong, we'll have our own dictionary that I take the word over to English, back over to um, Latin root word. So we're looking up the word narrator. Nope, we're looking up the word noun, alphabetical order. Okay, we're going to noun now. So it's to declare. A noun is like a declare. A nook is like a declare. Like when you declare something. Ooh, good coming in camera. A noun in the nook is when you declare something. So when you speak, you're declaring it. So that's a noun. So it's when you speak and you're nouning. But you're locoing. Your language. Your language, you have to noun the language or you have to Put the, we have to declare it. So when you speak, you always noun for real. Or look. So you declare, and that's a it's not a claim. It's not a claim, you're declaring it, you're talking. So you're just declaring what you're talking. That's a noun. Forget what everybody else say it is. Like a verb is a word. So you make the word and you noun it. The action is making the word. The speaking it is nouning it. You're declaring it. But um, what I make that is speak, declare. When you declare something, you're talking. So it's really speak. Because when you're narrating the story, if you're not speaking, you're really having an audience tell us something. When you're loco and that's your language. That might be speaking too. I might have to have a check mark on that. You claim is when you claim something. It's, it's not like when you're talking, it's, it's really a name state. Because that's the two orders of um, law is your oral contract your claim and you declare your claim are you a, are you a guy in red shorts why well, declare i am 
breath, spirit, your spirit, so it can't be talking. Riddle is laughing. Your language is your tongue. So just them, these are the, and every step, these are the only orders of the stuff you could do. There's nothing else you could put in or take out. That's why they come from the mother. Can't put nothing in, can't take nothing out. The creators. But um, let me put a picture of that declare speak. Okay, that's the language. Let me see if you can see that. Okay. Most likely I'll draw another face. Make it a square box this time. So a person see the difference. Put a couple letters in there like you're speaking, like and, maybe and or a. You speak. Or a children's first words. Ma. So they understand it's to speak. Ooh, that boy cold. Now we're about to get down to out of lingo, that's 50. Out of spirit, that's like 90. Out of climb, that's like 150. It's like 200. When you now look like 300, narrate a story there. Probably get about 400, 500 words out of this. And the last but not least, when you breathe, or talk or sing is volume. It's your volume, but this volume is in your head, your emotion. So I'm just gonna reuse the word, but I'm not gonna put it here because that's reusing it, but it do go in here because it's the volume of your spirit. But just remember, I already used it once, is the volume of your what you animate, it's the volume. So when you're speaking, there's a volume too. But let's get to the computer. <laughs> gang banging, gang banging. They still only got two computers up there. That is crazy, two views. Okay. Now first, we're going to go do it the, um, you do it with your mouth. And this is how you do it with the student. So they know that smoking is bad, and this is what happened when they smoke. So you get a good message out of it, but it's breathing. And the same word is for nose, so we don't even have to go over that. We just know that you breathe out your mouth and your nose, just a word that we use twice. And then you know you laugh. That's what you do with your mouth. And the student will see that. It's a million dollar project right here. It's a million dollar project. And then when you laugh, it's like the red, like a riddle. And in Spanish, it's rear. And I always take it down to his Latin root so he can't get out of it. The, the radio. And then the next is what you claim. They're about to claim something. It's the reclaimer. Re of the whatever rare repito. Then once again the volume. Are you saying it in the pleasant way? Are you claiming she's beautiful? Like, hey, she look good. Or are you claiming that you're about to kill her because she look good? Why you cheat on me, boo-boo? Just joking, but ways that you could your volume and uh it's the wheel it's your wheel and it's the volunteer the volun the voluntis like the volume they'll just put a different suffix on it now the next word we'll go to is your language is your talk your loco your loco and it's your lingo I don't know what word I'm missing for here because there's only four words right here and it's supposed to be five. But I know that big word is in the middle. It's your lingua. And that's your loco. And 
And when you tell or narrate a story, you're narrating. Intimo, Desir, it's like a declare. Desir, like there's certain words that we'll have to change over in Spanish, but if there's 5,000 words, we might have to change over 50. So see how easy that is? All the words that start off as the English, the original Latin English root word is 90% of the time, really like 90% of the time, the Spanish word and the Latin root word. And then when you name something, usually look at the picture and you name it, you noun it up. So don't think noun is a person, place, or thing. It's all words. You put a word to it, you just nouns it up. And it's the nook. And then right here is the substantivo. 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 And it's the nomen. It's not the object, it's the subject. It's the nomen, the name. And then when you call somebody, it's like the voice, the voice. Oh, I did not say that one. I thought it was the volume. No, it's the vocals. Okay, yeah, when you call somebody. I don't know how to. I don't really know how to say that word. I'll just have to go over it for about an hour. I'll say it, but that's a word that snuck up on me. I'll... So out of about all the words I did, this is probably about the second or third word that I came back up, which it won't be that hard. Whoa, she can call me voice. Call, beautiful lady. Ah, he messed up the pick. Well, for the ladies, for the ladies. Hold on, let me start right here for the men. Let me start right here for the men. Okay, there go a black guy over there for the ladies, too. This is a multi, a uni look picture. Keep on calling. Keep on calling. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Let's go to the next picture. But that's about it. And now we're going to go to the words and show how many words we can make out of these. And the first is your spirit. We already went to the spirit for, for your nose and I'm not about to go over it again. Why not? Go over spear, S P I R. You can put spiral. The etymology from spira. Let's look up spira. It's talking about your breath, your respirate, um, respirable, respirable. I'm about to say, what the hell? capable of being breathed so any word dealing with your spire your spirit is your breath so whenever god and them talking about that stuff understand it's your words because you breathe out your words it's your song so that's all words of spira let's go to spire probably dealing with the spira it's to breathe from old english to breathe from spira now we understand spira is the breathe feel what i'm saying spirit breath they're going to say a vital block animating force within living things they're not going to tell you what animating force it is well, i'm going to show you it's your breath it's what you you breath so if you're around here and i see a pretty girl and i start rapping bitch ho slut i hope she's super drunk or i've just brought to her bad spirit <laughs> but if i come to her hey great day outside you look good hope to see you in the future Win, lose, or draw made her feel good. Okay, gave her respect. You know, it's your spirit. Uh, I, A, E, I, O. Spiro, Spiro. In medical terms, it's dealing with your respiratory um, respiration. In chemistry, it's dealing with your spiral, so that's the breath. Spiro. Spirula, spirula, a flat spiral. So it's dealing with some weird ass shit of the breath, but they took the word and made it something. 
But let's go to the next word. We just made about 80, 90 words out of that. Next word is laugh. So it's the riddle, the rid. Let's see what rid. It comes from too clear, empty, clear, strip, take away. I might have to double D that up because, you know, some words they'll. Pure, clean. Riddle. How would you spell riddle? Embarrassing. I don't know how to spell riddle. I thought that's how you spell riddle. That's embarrassing. I'm about to get in the dictionary and try to spell riddle. Embarrassing, embarrassing. Riddle, pierce through many holes, set a different problem or set a difficult problem or riddle. Oh, that is a riddle. Riddle me a riddle. So it's really a laugh. They laughing at you when they set you up a riddle. Okay. Speaking riddles. Okay. What about that? I thought I spelled that shit right. Yeah, speaking in riddles, sp speaking, laughing at you. Some be listening to these motherfuckers that be speaking to you in riddles. They laughing at your ass. Let me see what ridden mean. Oppressed by, full of. They're not going to give us the real meaning of that, but rid is laugh. We went to spiral. Let's go to lingo. Your tongue is your lingo. Your ling. Nope, you might have to put linga. Linga, lingo. Lingo Francia, Lingam, Hindu syllable of Siva. So it's really Lingo, Lingu, no, not no Lingi, Lingai, nope. So it's really Ling. You and lingo. And there's plenty of words to get out of that, about 40 or 50. So let's get to what you claim. But they have C L A M. A bond. It's really what you claim. Let me see if there's another word where claimer, a awkward claim. Nope. So I'd have to take it over to his American word claim. Y'all see the word claims that have come out of it? Claimer, claimable claimant. Claimy, claimy air. Spelling a claim, the claimiest, the most claiming looking mother freaker, the claimeth, the person that claiming the stuff, or the person that they talking about, putting in the third person, claim I, claiming, claimless, claim O, claim O looking, there ain't none of them, but you see how many words you get out of that. Now let's go to um your language, your logo, your loku. Really a loco, a cool. Let me see if uh, to speak, you look cool, talkative. So that is, wow, I never looked at that word. Awesome sauce. Lucuous manner in the chatty. You know, it's all talking about your talk. Ooh, wee, okay then, okay then, okay then. Now let's just change it over to C. L O C U. Local later. Nope. That's a loc. La coup. Well, I'd have to get to a different, different, because a loc is different than a la coup.
I don't know if I could put that there because it's like a location. So it's really like, look. So when you narrate something, a narc is a net. Oh, no way. Didn't get that. A narc. Somebody telling on some damn body. <laughs> Didn't know that one. Find out some every day. A narcissist. That's embarrassing. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, somebody always talking about themselves. Okay. That was embarrassing. I didn't know who that was. Nara. Gotta be some self-serving ass mom. Narrate all these words. Now let's go to Nair. Nary. Nope. Nary. Nara. There ain't no narrator. Embarrassing, I ain't know how to spell that word. Narrow. All them words. Now let's go to the next one, which is a noun. Gonna be so many words for that. I want to look up nook, though. I ain't never looked up nook. Now, ain't that many words for now? But you could put pronoun, pronunciation, hope that's how you spell it. Something like that. I don't like that. Okay, pre none. Well, that's still a noun, damn it. Uh, denounce. See what I'm saying? Uh, now let me go to nook. Let me see if there's any words with nook in it. Nookie, a gang member from the inner city. Nookie, none. I don't know if that nook, nook. What's a nook? Nook, Demetrius. A prayer. Nook, pro tunk. So a nook is a wow. It is a word. But I'm not going to go there because I don't know. Nunchio. Nunchio. Let me go look up Nunchio. 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 Well, in the last word but not least, oh, that was it. Well... That's all I'd like to get to. Woo, I'm done with this section. One more section, and I'm done with this bull stuff. Woo, what dissertation is hell. For anybody that was watching, if you got any questions, ask now to hold your peace. Make your declare. Declare your nook. Before I got to get out of here, you know I got to always uh, hit you with the, hit you with the, Hit you with the my great books, my great Bibles. All due respect to my mom. All due respect to her mama. Because her mama had my mama. And my mama had me. Thank you, creators. And thank you, creators. And thank you for watching.